The Valley Transportation Authority Board of Directors voted unanimously in 2019 to approve new plans for a light rail extension to San Jose's Easter's Transit Center. The 2.4-mile extension has a total projected cost of $615 million, with completion estimated sometime in 2027. After reading his op-ed discussing the negatives of this project, I sat down with Pat Waite from the San Jose Spotlight to discuss the possible impacts this may have on Eastside San Jose and its residents. The east side of San Jose has been underserved for generations. The light rail extension was kind of thrown as a sop to them to the east side um, as part of Measure A. I'm saying, okay, we, we put all these projects on here so everybody will vote for it. But I, I just don't see light rail, especially the Eastridge light rail, um, doing anything significant over the long haul in terms of improving the, the life of the people in the east San Jose. And I'd be surprised if in 2040 it was still running. The main thing telling how successful the project will be is how many people actually use this service. Wait says projected ridership for the extension seems too optimistic. Because people are looking at the costs and looking at the ridership projections and saying, well, hmm, this might not make sense. I mean, it, it ranks right up there with the bullet train in terms of, of erosion of support. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing driving the support uh, is construction unions, because there's a lot of jobs there. $600 million or $700 million pays a lot of construction workers mm -hmm. for a while. Um, and the same thing with the high-speed rail is there's a lot of construction jobs in that, and so people are loath to pull the plug on the projects. They want to help the economy with those dollars, and you, you probably can't fault them for that. Mm -hmm. But when it's done, it's done, and you got to operate it, and if people aren't riding it, why would you operate it?